Yo, what is up, everybody? It's a dude, it's a rebel, it's a gas stuff in this level. It's your boy, Keenan Sergeant, aka Level 92. What is up? And welcome, everybody, to another Key Clip episode for today. This year is Key, key, key Clip 116, Season 2, Episode 41. Yes, we have surpassed 40 episodes of the season, but we have surpassed 106, 115 episodes of the Key Clip series. And before we get to today's game, uh, really good game review. Uh, do a little recap. Uh, 115 went to the toy show again for the unsung on some time. Uh, not really. I've lost count how many times I went, but third time I was doing a video. We uh, saw some fa saw great fans of mine, the Epic Allies, had an interview with them, and also Sasuke was Sasuke was there. Sorry, and uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it was kind of short. You know, kind of just thought questions up the head, but either way, just thought I'd give them a shout out, and also they gave me a shout out back then. So I thank all you guys. So anyways, <clears throat> and speaking of toy shows, for today's review, uh, this is probably one of the greatest games I've, or I actually have heard and seen off another review, and I think I actually had a chance to buy it, and I got a chance to play it. And this is going to be for the Sega Dreamcast, so ladies and gentlemen, prepare for a great story of Shenmue. Yes, one of Sega's greatest story games, and we're about to play it. Alright, so this here is the game Shenmue. Uh, first off, before I get to the review or talk about it, um, there for me. Oh, we got a note. Okay, uh, first give a shout out to Nerds at Night Gaming. Uh, they was at the toy show. Uh, I'm, yeah, they're at the toy show like every time it's there. Uh, I know about like a, a while ago. But anyway, yeah, thank you guys, Nerds, Nerds at Night Gaming. So, <clears throat> and, for, and also this here is a three disc or four disc if you want to count the passport. Uh, kind of game, so you know it's gonna be a good one. Tell the story, and with the story, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so you play this character, you play the main character here, known as Ryo, or in the game people call him Ryo's son. And basically, what the, it started off with him going to his dojo behind his house or behind his room or anything, and he sees some guy fighting his dad. And what he does, he fight the guy fights the dad, and then apparently he kills him. So, it is Ryo's duty to go around town, you know, just talk to people if they've seen this character, if they've seen this character or not. And they actually help you. And, hey, we're going to try to get past the city first, and I can get to the other stuff. Sakuraguaka. Really cannot pronounce that name. Sorry about that. Okay. And to help you along the way, there you have this notebook. All right, there we go. So, but the notebook is actually pretty handy. It's kind of like Blue's Clues. Uh, oh, wrong way. Yeah, so it's kind of like Blue's Clues. You know, he makes notes. He has phone numbers and certain people. And when you get down to it, and I, I played this a while ago, like I said. Uh, when he gets down to it, when he talks to a certain person, they give him, you know, like some clues to go on to your next uh, thing. And what he does, he writes it down. And then to let you know that it's been written down, there is a, uh, why are you going backwards? There's a um, an icon every time you're done talking to someone, it has like a little bing to it, and it's basically a notebook. So it tells you, you know to go into it and see what you've written down, and then it'll help you on to your mission. And basically what we have so far, I actually gotten far to the three blades, where it's a yeah, it says the cook, uh it, yeah, the uh, the cook, the tailor, and the barber. So basically the razor, the scissors, and the uh, the knives. We'll get back out here. But yeah, this is actually a this is pretty this is a pretty good game. Um, like I say, basically you have to go through around town. Uh, also, one thing that I think is pretty cool for this game is the fighting. Now, if you guys remember the game, uh, wait, gotta get out of here. I'm stuck. All right. If you all remember the game for the uh, for the uh, Sega, I'm gonna say Sega Saturn for the uh, Sega CD. Uh, the Power Rangers, the Mighty Wolf Power Rangers. And they, whenever every time you fight, you basically have to press a button. And the, and the ironic thing is, it's just in episodes. Yeah, and that is just episodes. You basically got to press certain buttons. The same way for this one. Now, this actually takes you to the fight. And so, you got you either press A, X, Y, or B. Or, you know, just press any other combo button. And it's pretty, it's pretty simple. Uh, also, you can also uh, train yourself at a park. If we can actually find, I think it's somewhere in this, somewhere in this part of town. No, it's not. It's in the other part. But uh, 
Yeah, for a start for a story game for the uh, what should I say for the uh, Dreamcast, it's this is pretty nice. And right here, we're just looking at a map of a part. And right now, I think we're in a bigger we're in a bigger city. And basically, it just shows you all different places you can go to. And of course, that's a round trip. Yeah, the graphics are amazing. The store, the plot, the plot is pretty clever. And for this, yeah, for this game to be a uh, a three, yeah, for this game to be a three disc, I should talk to some more people. Yeah, you should. Yeah, for three discs, you would expect you know a whole lot to come out of this. And also, I forgot you can actually play games here. This is the arcade, but we're not. I think we can actually go in this. I don't know. No, we can't. Well, actually, no, we can. But uh. Yeah, that's basically yeah, that's basically uh, throughout the whole game. You just basically talk to people, try to find out who who knows anything about some guy in a black car, let alone the character. And the fact you usually know, yes, you usually know, but which is kind of handy to uh, further on to further on your mission. And like I said, right now this is basically just the whole gameplay. Uh, and honestly, I never really see the many many story. Well, I mean, as far as like. Sonic Adventure and maybe well Jay Grand Raider could say, but that's more of a that's just more of a game game. This one right here, this is basically a uh what I wanna say like a uh like one of the Zelda games. And now we're going back to the town that we just left. It's only nine forty six AM. Yeah, that's also cool how you actually can uh it's not really time or date accurate, but it uh it keeps it keeps you up and running, you know, just to make sure what time you have. And in order for you to save your game, uh, it's kind of best for you to actually go home, or uh, basically just try to save from there. And I know there's supposed to be a park. I think that's a park right there, park secure something. Wait, take a look at my notebook again. Yeah, so the far as I got to, we had to speak with a Liu senior who walks in Suzumi Park. And Suzuki Park is basically right around that corner. Yeah, this is Suzuki Park right here. And mostly there's a... Trying to get to the sign. And... It should say it, like, right there. I know it's like a, it's a sign, unless it's that, unless it's this thing. Nope. Yeah, I know this is this has to be Suzumi Park because it's like the only part I know where the guy would be. Maybe I can practice here. I should work on my moves. Let's get sweaty. Ah, nasty. But yeah, this is pretty. Now this is pretty cool. Uh. Yeah, so this here is actually the move set. It starts kind of upside down or on the side, but who cares? It's a game. So this is basically all the this is basically all the moves that uh, Riot can do. Of course, when it comes to fighting. Now you would think you know he could actually be in a fight like a. Fighting and not like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter versus uh, X Men and all that kind of stuff. And we're gonna quit right there, and we're also gonna quit for this. And that will conclude, ladies and gentlemen, today's key clip. That is Shen Mu, Shen Shen Mu. I keep calling it Shen Mu, or Shen Mu, something. It's kind of hard to pronounce, but anyway, it's one of the great Sega Classic games. And thanks again to. Uh, Nerds at Night Gaming, see them at the toy show. Uh, I will see them again, I know, soon. If y'all ever want to see me down there, hey, go ahead for it. And I'll once again, I'll be concluding today's Key Club 116. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, one thing I'd like to enjoy even more if you guys like and subscribe and comment on my videos, you can also find me on Facebook, Kena Sergeant, or Facebook.com slash do level 92, or you can find me on Vine. Or, yeah, Twitter and Instagram, do love night there. You can also find me on Vine, Keenan, love night to Sergeant. Till next time, stay tuned for 117, and I'll see y'all when I want to see y'all. Peace out.